Hi everyone, look at how fascinating I am. I am shopping. I'm in Safeway. I don't know, I just feel like randomly pointing the camera at the stuff. Oh, excuse me. I'm supposed to stay here with the basket. It's okay, I can just film everyone or everything around me. Uh, yeah, I'm bored. Also, yes. Has, has a teddy bear. Always has a teddy bear. Um, and his little button. I don't know if you've seen this in the pictures. His little button says, Even League of Evil Charter Member. Hello. It is so cute. And just for pity, I'm not going to squeeze the bear. Oh, look. Um, okay. That has been a fascinating 50 seconds. Minute. I've just wasted a minute of your time filming stuff around the store. Bye. I'm entertaining myself. What a I'm wearing horrible shoes. I'm trying to entertain myself. And you're mean. So, I thought I'd treat you all to a look at what the house looks like on the days we have inspection now. I've actually had it like this since yesterday morning. It is now today afternoon. Um, so, on the to-do list we have feed Tara, strike two, would be Tara the Bulldog. Pay Reaper, um, that would be little Grim Reaper over here, my little horseman. As you can see, I actually cleared off everything that doesn't make me look like a creeper. Um, things for conspiracy known as inspection, strike through, polished dagger. Dagger is actually in my underwear drawer, so. Um, today's story, the Iliad, um, and then we have... Uh, my ragdoll reading that this is actually the Odyssey because um, the Iliad is a few hundred pages this way, but it wouldn't stay like that, so we just decided screw it. I'll have you reading, um, and no one will really be able to tell the difference. I mean, yeah, tea at 11:30. Invite the tigers. Um, tigers are actually. Well, if you could see, yes, tigers are in here along with basically everything. Uh, a computer desk. Oops. Computer desk. Computer. <laughs> because I can't have anything by the window, even though I have no problem climbing in and out of it, um, even with the desk there. And I weigh 200 pounds. Obviously, that showed in the last video I posted. Um, and then, under Invite Tigers, we have Do Not Disturb Nicola Machiavelli While Pollinating. It's my beautiful little Nico Chan. On his flower. Yes, he loves his flower. Just gonna let that soak in for a sec. Okay, then we have Viva, the doll. And we have. Oh, we have my little Saix teddy, and I set him up to look like he's sleeping. He's just so adorable. I didn't even take him to bed with me last night. I slept it on. I didn't want to disturb the setup here. I didn't even take him to bed with me, and I usually do because he's so cute like that, you know? And then here is overall. Oh, silly. Headphones. Um, my little pink spider. Well, actually, gigantic pink spider. And then, yes, this is where I slept. I slept in Zemnis's arms. <laughs> that is the name of the futon, for those of you who haven't seen my other videos. Um, and I obviously did not want to just get the set up. Uh, that is a rose pattern blanket there. That is a rocket blanket on top of it. 
I just slept with the green afghan, and I had a book with me at the time, so, um, it is strange seeing this place so clear, and then, this just looks like it always looks, so. <sighs> oh, yeah, and then this is my closet decor, the picture of the half-naked lady, is actually um, the poster from the Bloodhound Gang um, show us your hits TV. And then on my ceiling, <sighs> oh yes, all the beautiful cosplayers. Um, and make it sex. <laughs> and of course, Lou Heartless holding the little tiny little rag dolls. Annoying dude with the bell. Oh yeah, I also put this angel up because um, my dad threw them out just because the light stopped working. I thought it was still really pretty and of course it was right next to the pirate skull. I like to stick incense to the eyes there. Um, I had to put my ashtray away of course. Um, and my Grim Reaper. And then this is Drafalis. Drafalis. Um and somehow my hair dried out. These are two wigs on top of each other, the Akuma wig and my Sykes wig. Oh yes. Uh, okay. Normally I don't record in the bathroom, but look how clean this is. Seriously, well, my towels obviously the rumble. We just cleaned the bathroom. Normally, or the bathtub, it normally does not look like this. But normally, it has so much stuff in it because it's too lazy. And then, of course, I have my soap, shampoo, washcloth there. That's not there. It's like in the hotel bathroom. But then, of course, we open the door here. Lots and lots of toiletries and beauty products just all over the place. Well, my dad's cells are a little neater, mine are a mess. We have like this, so you can tell. And this, and... Yeah, whatever. Interview outfit for KFC. What's that implies that I will actually be able to get my ass down to the interview on time today is obviously not one of those times. Uh, kitchen. Uh, just had the dishes done, did not put them away first obviously. Let's see, Bailey's Irish cream, delicious. Uh, refrigerator, nothing remarkable there. Um, but the stove is actually clean for once, and so is the floor. That's pretty amazing in itself. Countertops, really clean. Yeah, usually there are coffee stains by the percolator, or, you know, egg and steak stains on the stove. Usually there are pots and pans on the stove. Uh, these are my cupcakes, which apparently only my dad likes. I haven't even eaten them, and a pithy spit one out. So my baking still needs a little work. And then this, I should probably turn this light on. This is the desk area, which is usually clean if I haven't been there. Kind of furniture, blah, blah, blah. Couch. I know I've taken pictures of myself on this couch. It is never that clean. Usually I have my knitting or a couple of my stuffies there. Coffee tables just cleaned. Um got the bloody um other couch. Also usually has some sort of stuff on it. Um my stuffies look about the same as ever. Looney up there needs a cleaning. That's L-U-N-I-E, not the crazy kind. It's the moon. Then we have my dad's decorative ashtray, which is the same 
Look is the one that I use for my incense. I actually want it specially for him. Peanut says, here's his little face. <laughs> like that. Let's see. A bunch of my friends are on sticks. Yeah. He has a few other little things. Um, and then we have this. <laughs> Yeah, my my dad's nativity scene, snow globe, and Jesus candle right next to the crow, Wolverine, Lorne, Misa, uh, the crow poster, Dracula, and Berserker. That was actually the wolf's name. I did not make that up. And don't oh look how cute! Look how cute! Okay, yes, I'm sorry, squeeze. I have a thing for, um, little wolves, dogs, well, small dogs, some dogs, I don't know. Then this, Rose thing was actually, oh yes, let me take you on a tour of the house. It was actually just about a dollar, um, and I've got, this cat was an heirloom for my grandmother. I'm actually thinking of giving it to Floris. Um, this is a... Cow, yes, cow that I got in Switzerland, like 80 francs, and, and this, this masterpiece of a falcon <laughs> I got in 2008 or 2009, but, oh my god, he's beautiful, I wanted him for the longest time, and then my grandmother finally agreed to get him for me. Um, yes, and my dad thought that the inspectors would think that we are all alcoholics because we've got black and gold sake, kabai plum sake, raspberry sake, ouzo, and sinar. And, and the same bookcases look the same as ever. Lots of stuff on them. Those look the same, 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 same. Oh, right. This. I actually wanted to... Mm, I've had this since I was ten. The guy in my fourth grade class gave it to me. Um, it's a little crystal kitten. And I used to be very, very protective of it. I didn't want it to get dirty or dusty. Of course, I probably shouldn't have taken it under the casing. Apparently made in Sweden. This actually looks better from the other side. Yeah, by the way, it's a kitten. It's adorable. And it's going back on my little shelf of kitschy stuff. It goes right there. There's actually a music box that goes with that, but um, it's in my room. And I'm lazy. Then there's my Wizard of Oz thing collectible in user set. And uh I guess that's about it. Um yeah, unless you want to hear me geek gasm over all my um books such. Most of these are on the shelf are textbooks. And then of course I've got a couple of random ones I picked up. Um there we have Chibi Vampire, Lament of the Lamb, Pet Shop of Horrors, um, Stephanie Meyer books, because um, I lost a bet, because I didn't keep the receipt, and because it's actually fun to write commentary in them. And just to satisfy all you cynics, I do actually commentate in them. Um, it's not to the point of the Harry Potter ones where I have a comment on every page, but still. And besides the Harry Potter ones, I'm just doing it for good fun. These ones I actually found a lot to snark at. Um, at least it's not whatever. And here's my Harry Potter collection under the purse and the got Tales of Beetle the Bard, Anna Karenina, Treasure Island, Hunter Back of Noah's Dawn, uh, some books on Vicky of Finn and Corey, and, yeah, 
And here I have Gregory Maguire, Gregory Maguire, Piers Anthony, Piers Anthony, French cookbook, 21st century dictionary of slang, um, uh, Irish romance, I don't know, um, then, let's see, Gods and Heroes of Ancient Greece, I also have both Ancient Mythology, which I'm in the middle of reading, the Norse Myths, of course, um, the poetic era, because of course, if I'm gonna buy a book on Norse mythology, I might as well get one of the actual sources. And then Celtic myths and legends, and most of the Zant series. I say most of it because I've got Zant by two up here, which I'm actually thinking of giving to River and um, just buying the books separately. And the ones that I don't actually have. The man at the store was nice enough to highlight them. Only the ones he couldn't get. Um, Bear of the Vole, Man from Undania, Guys of the Gargoyle, Yon, Ill Wind, Fawn and Game, Zombie Lover, and Swell Foot. And then the Xanth by 2-1. Um, I don't like it because it's not the same size as my other Xanth books. So, yeah, once my CD in the show is. And then I've got two books that are parallels to um, uh, Pride and Prejudice. One is An Assembly Such as This, the other is Darcy's Story. I haven't completely read either one of them. Uh, then we've got these fancy-looking, pretentious books. I've got Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, which my mother regarded as comedic. I literally saw her laughing as we were, as she was reading it. Seven novels by Jane Austen, the complete works of William Shakespeare. I actually want to read more Shakespeare because, um, first of all, I never had to read them in high school, which kind of sucks. And then, um, stage beats, of course, my name being a reference to a Shakespearean actor. I kind of feel it's my duty. Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales, The Complete Sherlock Holmes. Oh yes, I actually had an abridged Grimm's Fairy Tales. I gave that to Sarah, um, my little sister. H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, The Complete Fiction. I'm looking forward to that. Might give inspiration for DOF. And The Divine Comedy. Yes. Whenever someone mentions the Inferno or Dante, the first thing that comes to mind is a divine comedy. And not Devil May Cry or some, I don't know, video game. Like, I had someone actually tell me, oh, they're talking about a video game. I looked at them. Well, it was the internet, so I didn't, I looked at the screen. I was like, are you a moron? Of course, this coming from someone who hasn't read Shakespeare, but I'm looking to rectify that. And then the Vampire Ritz is an adorable little series. Um, I read the fifth book and then decided to get the rest. It kind of romanticizes the idea of pirates more than I'd like, and makes it more you know kid friendly. Plus, there's the improbable age issue, and then above this is all my encyclopedias. But um, I'd actually, I'm running out of time on my memory card, so I'm going to stop, stop rambling in about 20 seconds. Audiobooks, 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 algebra, plushies, plushies, do the next, all the vampire books. Um, books, 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 the Misty Owl. Okay, I'm going to go now.